looking at the new coil plate line, the new true spec line. A brand new line that we're putting in. It's the second coil plate line that Blue Scope has put in. It's been designed to be a high speed line to cover our light gauge product up to six millimetres. We're building this line to offer up a different um, section size so it produces a slightly different product to the other line. We can produce the product a lot quicker. We're in uh, one of the, I guess, older facilities of uh, Port Kembla. Previously there was other installations in this building but it's been repurposed for the coal plate line. Totally different uh, production philosophy and equipment in this building. We basically cleared it all out. Reclaimed the whole floor area, uh, built this line in the last few months and are in the process of commissioning it. Starts off in coil form and the steel gets uh, unrolled, stretched and cut into plates of different lengths. The um, steel is stretched to its yield point. To make it memory free. That takes out the memory in the steel so that um, it takes out that coil shape so it won't want to return to the coil shape. That helps for when customers want to cut the steel, especially like with laser, it won't warp and distort when they cut it. We've effectively been commissioning on our own. Because a lot of the stuff is kept in-house, um, you do it all yourself. So there's very little outside help that you need to draw on. Um, so you learn every single bit of facet uh, and knowledge you need in terms of engineering. Which has opened my eyes a little bit, because um, not only do I get to see how it works, but you can also see the improvements that could be made. We're different to a supplier in that we actually operate the lines. Uh, this is not our first core plate line. There's been a lot of development since the first core plate line. Um, this one is an improvement on that design. We actually know a lot of how the line needs to operate, um, some of the challenges that it can face. As we're commissioning, uh, we can work a lot of that knowledge into changing things, automating things. The automation also allows us to remove people from the line of fire. Uh, make sure that the equipment can do some of the more hazardous tasks. There's a lot, a lot of opportunities to learn, to be innovative, um, try new things. The wrapping dispenser, first of its kind, that was basically designed in-house by our team, and it's basically to automate the actual feeding of the paper onto the actual plate pack. In Hot Mills we have a generally young uh, electrical, particularly engineering team, uh, so it's a great opportunity. Many businesses around the world you wouldn't even get this sort of experience, so it's always something different. Yeah, creating good quality products. And it looks, looks really good. Better than Lego, agreed. <laughs>